Good evening, uh, fellow KPMG and one more from Mid Valley. <laughs> I'm a true believer in mentoring because I'm a product of mentoring. So John is my mentor and of course there's other more mentors that you see how we can implement the entire system. My me myself is a mentor to several mentees in DDI as well. But let's just have a, have a clear look. What mentor is what is a mentor? If you look at the slides by the end, I'll send on this side or to block this. In my entire 10 minutes, I'm going to talk about seven things. Three, the roles of a mentor, the role model, coach, and a confidant. And of course, the four benefits you will get as a new member, as an experienced member, as a mentor, as a club, as, as whole. So the three roles and the four benefits that you will get covered in these 10 minutes. The first mentor is called a role model. A role model is someone that has been there, done that. Something you want to achieve in your communication, in your leadership. A role model is someone who's already done that. So he knows the entire journey, he knows what it feels like, he knows all the obstacles. And this is a role model. More often than not, sometimes you want to achieve, okay, there's, there's, there's two tracks. One is the communication track, you can go all the way to the world chamber of public speaking. One is the leadership track, you can go all the way to the international president, handling the whole world. But often, more often than that, sometimes we might not have these people in our club. They have done to a certain level and they have not been to all the way. Right? So the entire, the entire system helps you that even you might not have these people with you, you can get certain of these people because someone else has done that. Okay. A role model cannot be a role model if it's not achieved. For example, if you want um, me to guide you to an international president, I could not. The furthest I've been is president. All right? So that's, that's how it works here as a mentor. Secondly, is a coach. A coach may not have been there, done that, but a coach who someone knows the entire process of a coaching process. It's like a certification, a professional coaching. You see, our, like, like in football, you see Alex Ferguson, or Jose Mourinho, or anything. They have not probably been the best player but they are the great coach. This is a process. It monitors your progress, you know what you want, it knows what problem you face, and pushes you based on your vision and goals. And that's a coach. Okay. This two situation is very hard to be implemented. Because sometimes our club does not have the particular role model, or a coach, which is they don't have that particular certification. So they don't know the process of a coach. That's why the third situation comes is the confidence. Confidence is like a buddy, someone you trust, someone you believe in, and sometimes you, you will tell all the problems of the communication leadership, and he will get you the role model of the coach. He might guide you whatever he has, can guide you, and his role as a confidant is to get you to other mentors in different, different areas. It's some, of course, some, you may ask, should I have more than one mentor? A few, the more the better. In each area of the specialty, you have a mentor. For example, if, you, if she, uh, I look for going to the district, then John will be my mentor. If I want to uh, speak on, on humor, then I find the one that's the best in particular area. So you have the best in all the areas, and there's a confident but able to help you in that area. What do we get? Easy the transition is actually for new members who have just joined the club. When you first join the club, the new member does not know anything about the movement, does not know about the roles, he does not know about what's happening, what's the journey, where can they lead to, and all they know they want to start speaking immediately. Right? They just want to speak, speak, speak. So a mentoring process helps the, the, the freshly started member to determine where are they going first? What do they want to achieve at the final outcome? Right? Guide them about all the roles and responsibility they can play and how they can learn each step to play a more bigger role. To explain the entire thing about the standards, about the customary, about how you should wear to a particular meeting. You see, different clubs have different address code or conduct. Some are more serious, like KPMG, they're professional, they dress up 
in their office wear. Some, some are college clubs, they will wear jeans, they wear t-shirt. So the mentor must guide this new member what is you should do and what you shouldn't do. So they can fit in very well. So this is the benefit to the new member. So often not, do you ever face a situation that they join for a little while and they left the club, probably they didn't finish the CC or they just could, uh, didn't come for a meeting or they said, ah, oh, too much work and I thought, often not, because they could not fit in, they don't know what to do, you know, they don't know what to do, they, they, they thought that the, the what's in it for me wasn't strong enough, so this will help the new member. Okay. Secondly, this is for experienced member. The second situation that someone leaves the club is after they finish their CC. I'm done. <laughs> Ten speeches, that's all. Uh, then, then they leave the club, they feel that there's no more things to learn and they cannot progress further. So this is especially for more experienced members who has been there a little while, finished their CC, probably done their CL and don't know what to do next. Right? These people still need a mentor. A mentor is, is lifelong, it's, it's never ending, it's never ending. We need a people, someone to, to constantly remind you. For example, Tiger Woods is a mentor all his life, all the top players, they might be the best players around, even Steve Jobs or um, George Soros, they have professional coaches. Tony Robbins is a coach for George Soros, so even he's the best investors around the world. So same thing, this, this uh, new experienced member, they can, what's the next thing they can do? Like, don't stop there, you're going to push forward, there's 75 more different advanced manual, leadership doesn't end in your club, let's go beyond or be a mentor yourself. Right? So that's the good thing about for experience members. This is what is it for the mentors itself. Not the mentees anymore, but the mentors. Being a mentor has the advantage of while you're teaching someone, you're actually refining your skill. You become more affirm of what you've done throughout the entire process. You, see? Uh, you make yourself useful. Also, uh, like, like Grace, is, she, she is she, all around the KPMG. So she makes herself useful, productive. Everywhere we want to be productive, even when you're at a peak of your, of your game. Right? You want to be, then what's the point of coming? Right? So something for him to do. And it's a very enriching experience when you get someone you see the transition on where he or she started and where he or she is right now so mentors do have the what's in it for me situation in it but the whole outcome the most beneficial would be the club the club continue to function over the years meetings filled with people knowing what to do Meeting certain people enthusiastically looking the next step they want to do, knowing that if there's a problem for our members that they have someone to look for, and of course, the higher retention member. When you have a total showcase meeting, any guest that walks in the room, you don't, you don't even need to sell them. They feel that ah, the whole system is in place. Everybody seems to know what they are doing. So, it's no longer a worry. We, it's in September, we signed eight members already. Mm -hmm. Because, not, 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 not to, sh to show nothing, but it's because nothing great about us. It's about great that the system that is implemented to us. So it, if it's a system, like what you all do, it can be implemented to everywhere. It's like a standard operating procedure that John would cover later. Okay. To be... Um, to be a successful mentor, this process, two things must work. Okay, there's a mentee, there's a mentor. Right? All the ownership lies on the mentee. The mentee must drain the mentor, ask for him, even he's not the most friendly person. Right? We don't look for friendly mentors. We look for people who is capable of doing that. And you beg him, you, you go to the house, you drain him, you ask questions, you, whatever it takes. Right? Come on, men mentor like some of you uh, who know certain things, you won't purposely go and help someone unless someone shows so much of what they want and they look for you, then that's when you're doing something wrong with them. They can't tell you everything until you ask the right questions. And you can't ask the right questions 
unless you have your foundations right. So you know what's there, you ask for the question, you ask for the question, you bring them. So the entire ownership is on the mentee. No one's going to give you the knowledge. They're going to go for it. Okay? And of course, the, the mentors, all they need the mentors is reading and generosity in place of criticism. But to share, there's always another person there. So these are all some micros, uh, you know, um, sort of personalities or mentoring that's, that's, that's happening. So most importantly, if you know what you already want, you know who has done that, been there, and you just go for it and drain every single ounce of it. All right. and that's all I would cover in my mentoring session. Well, the rest, how it implements, what are the obstacles you're going to face, how can you implement it step by step in SOP, will be covered by John. All right. So, I'll pass the controls to him.